Hi, I'm Chris. Welcome to version 1.12 of OctoApp. 1.12 is a huge release, just in time for Christmas. But before we look what's actually new in 1.12, let's quickly look at 1.11. You might have noticed that at some point a random update 1.11 added render options for the G-code preview. That was actually a feature intended for 1.12, but I accidentally released it to 1.11. So now basically you can choose uh, how finely detailed you want your G-code render to be. Lower graphics quality obviously means more performance for larger G-code files and for slower devices. But if you have small files or just a super fast Android device, feel free to now choose the ultra settings. But what's actually new in 1.12? Let's look at three different categories. First, there are some improvements to the camera. Secondly, there's a lot of work being done around files and file management. And last but not least, there's a missed category with some surprises. So stay tuned. Let's start with the camera. The first change doesn't make a big difference for most people, but for all the video nerds out there, OctoApp now also supports RTSP webcam streams. So if you want to have the best picture quality possible for your webcam streams, RTSP is now an option. Also, for RTSP and HLS webcam streams, which Octave supported already before, the mirror and rotate options from Octoprint now take effect. That's the boring stuff. But for the rest of us, there's now a little share button in the camera feed, which you can press and Octave will snap a picture from the camera feed and then share it with your friends, save it for uh, documentation purposes or whatever you need to do with it. Also, in the full screen view of the webcam, you could use pinch and zoom for some time, but it never felt quite right. And now I spent quite some time on that and it should be perfect now. That's all the changes for the camera. Let's move on to file management. In older versions of OctoApp, you couldn't really call it file management. It was more file list, which you could use to start a print. With 1.11, I added the option to delete files. And now with 1.12, basically you can do whatever you want with your files. Obviously you can upload files from your phone, which basically means G-code files, but also other files if you use the Upload Anything plugin. You can move, copy, and rename files as much as you want. You can create new folders to move files into. And you can, of course, download and share files from your Octoprint. I think that's all. Yes, these are all the things you can do. Another cool change is that OctoApp now finally shows the currently selected file from the web interface. So if you cancel a print and just want to start the same file again right away, the currently selected file is now on top of the list at all time, no matter where in the file structure it is. And that's files. Let's move on to the miscellaneous category. And by far the biggest improvement here is the support for the Spaghetti Detective plugin. This means if you have an account with a Spaghetti Detective, you can now sign in directly in OctoApp. This will allow OctoApp to use the Spaghetti Detective connection to remotely access your Octoprint when you're not at home. If you have a free account, you can use up to 50 megabytes per month for this connection. If you have a pro account, there's no data limit whatsoever. This will help you to make the most out of your Spaghetti Detective subscription. And it's a great way to stay in touch with your prints when you're not at home. For the time being, the webcam only supports the basic screen, which means there's one image every 10 seconds. But that's good enough to just see what's going on. Another cool improvement in 1.12 is the plugin library. Octave supports many Octoprint plugins and basically with every update it gets more, but so far there was no easy way to see which plugins are supported and in which way. The plugin library should give you a complete overview. I'm not quite happy with the design yet, so there might be some changes, but I think it's already very good start. Next up, customizable print brokers. And to be honest, I think that's my favorite out of the entire update. Many people reached out to me and always asked me to add this or that to the print progress. And yeah, everyone kind of has their own idea what they want to see there and in which way. So with 1.12, you can now customize which information is shown. And I also added some new data fields. For example, you can now show the thumbnail of the file being printed and layer information coming from the G-code. There's also an option for a small and large font, as well as longer and shorter variants of all the information you can show there. For example, you can show the full ETA date or an abbreviated version. And this is version 1.12. As I said, it's a pretty big update, and as always, there were some performance improvements and small bug fixes along the way. Make sure to subscribe for upcoming tutorials and more news about OctoApp. Enjoy the app and happy printing!